Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. Use promo code LVD at checkout to get my personal token for free. Hello and welcome to another Historic Games video. It's been a while since I've last covered the format, but we got some new cards today with the Historic Anthology expansion, so I wanted to jump right into it here with Cat Pact, a Black Rat combo control deck featuring Harmless Offering from Historic Anthology, a 3 mana sorcery saying target opponent gains control of target permanent we control. So what are we planning to do with Harmless Offering? Well, we can combine it with Demonic Pact from Amoket Remastered, the 4 mana Mythic Rare Enchantment, saying at the beginning of your upkeep, choose one mode that hasn't been chosen, between Demonic Pact deals 4 damage to any target and you gain 4 life, target opponent discards 2 cards, you draw 2 cards and you lose the game. So our game plan is very simple, play Demonic Pact, reap the benefits from the first three modes, and then on the third turn that Demonic Pact is active, we cast Harmless Offering targeting Demonic Pact, our opponent gains control of it, and on the following upkeep they have to choose the final mode that hasn't been chosen yet, which is to lose the game, so we essentially win the game. So very straightforward two-card combo, and then the rest of the deck has some card selection, even some tutor effects to find the missing combo pieces, and then a lot of interaction to stay alive long enough for Demonic Pact to do its thing. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck, starting out with at one mana the full play set of Fatal Push as a cheap spot removal spell. No great revolt enablers, although you could potentially play Fabled Passage in the mana base. Then we've got Thoughtseize as a great one mana discard spell, can disrupt the opponent's game plan and maybe take away any counter spells they might have for Harmless Offering. Then at two mana we've got spot removal with Heartless Act, and then Cathartic Reunion and Thrill of Possibility have us discard cards in order to draw to help us maybe get rid of any additional copy piece of offering or pack that we don't need anymore to dig for the missing pieces or more interaction. Grim Tutor can find any of the missing pieces at the cost of 3 life. Then we've got our 4 copies of Harmless Offering, 2 copies of Valakut Awakening that can be played as a tap land or as a way to shuffle some cards back into our deck and draw. And then the full playset of Sweltering Suns as our sweeper of choice can deal 3 damage to each creature but can also cycle it for 3 mana into matchups where it's not necessary. And then the full playset of Demonic Pact and the mana base is pretty straightforward. Got the full playset of Blood Crypt and Dragon Skull Summit with 12 essentially swamps and mountains to go with it. Then we've got our Black Rat Pathway as well as 4 basic mountains, 4 basic swamps and 2 copies of Castle Lothwain as another card draw engine that can be nice in the grindier matchups. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. Grim Tutor can find Harmless Offering. Got interaction with Sweltering Suns and Demonic Pact. Also made sure to use Kahira as companion, since it's kind of a free roll, can maybe discard it to our various draw discard effects for value. Plus, combined with a cat sleeve, our opponent might think we're a cat tribal deck. Turn to Wily Goblin is scary. So, against goblins, want to keep Heartless Act for the cost reducer and haste givers. And then hope that Sweltering Suns can clean up the rest, but if our opponent can ramp straight into Moxus, they can just kill us out of nowhere. So finding a Thought Seize would be nice, or we can tutor for it. And then hope to not miss any land drops, basically. Instigator. That happens. And another Wily Goblin, so they had to use a treasure for it. Might imply that they have something to pump up the team, or like a Krenko to make use of all those goblins. But yeah, we get to Sweltering Suns for now. And then we still have Heartless Act in case of Krenko. And then hopefully hit our land drop for Pact. If not, we can dig for it with Reunion. Alright, there's Krenko. I think I'm forced to Reunion discarding either Tutor Pact or Double Tutor, since we can always use the second Pact for additional life gain. I think I'll do it like this and then hope to draw land for Heartless Act, which we did. And I could actually Thought Seize as well in case they have Muxus, since we can probably survive Krenko for a turn, but Muxus might just be too much. So we'll actually Thought Seize here instead. Opponent did have Muxus and Chain Whirler, so they'll be able to play Chain Whirler and then activate Krenko. So we're going to be taking some damage. And I wouldn't be able to play my Demonic Pact right away. 
my opponent attacks with Krenko instead. So now I think I'm down to play Pact instead of Heartless Act just to get it in play and then we can use the 4 damage to take out Krenko as well. And hope to dodge another Muxus top deck. And then Tudor probably wants to find Harmless Offering if we don't draw it in the meantime. So we'll start by dealing 4 to Krenko. They should have sacrificed it to Phyrexian Tower to deny the life gain from Demonic Pact, but that's uh, something I'll happily take. And then I can tutor for Harmless Offering and still keep up Heartless Act for now. Chief, okay. Opponent attacks. I think I should take out War Chief since it's scarier to keep that in play. We're at five. Now I get to draw with Demonic Pact. Find more interaction. And then Reunion can discard Offering Blood Crypts. And then we can maybe play another Demonic Pact if we don't find anything else. Fatal Push, Thought Seize. Don't really want a Thought Seize when we're at 5. Fatal Push doesn't take out Chain Warlers, so yeah, I guess we'll play Pact and then keep a push and hopefully that keeps us alive. If they have another Haste creature we could be dead, and of course Muxus is dangerous as well. So this is a spot where having access to Fable Passage could have been useful. Opponent cycles Incinerator, although it doesn't deal damage to players. So next turn we get to make the opponent discard, and then we get to Harmless Offering. Shame World gets in for three. And might as well Fatal Push, but we should be able to win in the opponent's upkeep and there's no direct damage in the Goblin deck that I'm aware of. So opponent discards two, and I guess we'll deal four to the opponent just to be safe instead of targeting Chain Warlord, otherwise Phyrexian Tower could deny the life gain. Opponent's gonna sacrifice Chain Warlord anyways. And Harmless Offering should close out the game. Target to right, Demonic Pact here. And pass the turn. Opponent has to make a decision. And they decided to lose the game. I don't know why, but uh, I guess I'll take it. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, facing a Lurus of the Dream Den deck. So if it's a Spirit Dancer deck, turn one Thoughtseize is pretty important. And then we've got a lot of card selection here. And hopefully we'll find the right interaction and combo pieces in due time. Turn one Swamp into Thoughtseize, so we're putting probably on the Black Rat Pyromancer deck instead. Alright, so they get to take our own Thoughtseize. Maybe play turn to Arcanist, which would be pretty annoying. Since that'll get to flashback thought seize, unless we draw into fatal push or heartless act. Second thought seize. Take scrim shooter. Well, at least they're not applying any pressure here. And I guess I'll go with end of turn thrill as opposed to reunion, just in case they have more discard effects. All right, there's arcanists, and now we just want to dig for. A removal spell. Sweltering Suns will do. A 
and then Castle Lockthwain is also going to be quite useful if the game drags out. Alright, Demonic Pact. Now a little bit risky, since we don't have Harmel's Offering and the opponent is a Thoughtseize deck, but I think I'm still going to go for it here. Between Awakening and Reunion we get to dig pretty deep for Offering and Grim Tutor, and once we exchange control of Demonic Pact, we uh, pretty much win the game since I don't think they have a way of removing it or dealing 20 damage before Demonic Pact kills them. So we can Offering as soon as we get it, essentially, so we don't have to be afraid of a discard spell. Opponent is playing blue, so they might have some counter spells in there too. Ooh, wow. Feed the Swarm. So I guess it must be a Death Shadow deck, in which case Feed the Swarm makes sense and great answer to Demonic Pact, which otherwise you would not expect in a Grixis deck. Also important to note, Feed the Swarm only destroys opposing enchantments, so you can't use it to use destroy your own enchantments. So if we do manage to exchange control, that trick no longer works. So I guess we'll reunion for now, discarding two lanes. And then probably just have a look with Thoughtseize. And there we see Scourge of the Skyclaves, which our opponent couldn't play until now, since we were still at 20. And then these two we don't really care about, so Scourge versus Pride Dragon. Um, I guess Pride Dragon's more difficult to deal with through Heartless Act. And then I think I play Awakening Tapped, since we're just going to start using Castle. Can also use Sweltering Suns as removal, maybe. And keep Heartless Act for Lurus. Yeah, that was a pretty clutch feed the swarm there. Opponent plays Scourge. And pillars my face. So now Sweltering Suns no longer works, but we can Heartless Act. And then use Sweltering Suns for Lurus. That seems reasonable. And then I can put Kahira in hand for now. Just to then discard it to Thrill. Alright, Thought C is probably gonna take Thrill. Nope, takes the Sweltering Suns. And Arcanists, okay. Dies to Heartless Act. And then. Take out Arcanist, probably leave Reunion in hand. It's a very grindy game so far. But yeah, the Castle Lockthwain is going to be the big difference. Opponent puts Slurus in hand. I'll Reunion first. Thoughtseize can take Lurus. And leave them with two removal spells that don't do much. And then I may or may not thrill discarding Offering since we want to start using Castle and Offering in hand does add up to quite a bit of damage. Yeah, I think it's okay to thrill here. Maybe should have main phased it to hit our land drop. Alright, lots of removal, so that makes Castle a little awkward. But I can cycle Sweltering Suns. And hit my land drop. Hope the opponent finds more creatures we can kill. Fatal Push and Heartless Act perfect for taking out Death Shadow and Scourge. Sprite Dragon, a bit awkward with Heartless Act. Um, I guess I can Heartless Act anyway here, since I expect Fatal Push to take care of every creature in the opponent's deck. And then if they want a Fatal Push in response to kill their own Sprite Dragon, I guess that's fine by me. I could still decide to Fatal Push, just to empty my hand for Castle, but I think keeping Fatal Push in hand is prudence, since a big Death Shadow or Scourge could deal a lot of damage and kill us very quickly. So I'll play this tapped, activate Castle. And there's Demonic Pact, perfect. And between all the card draw here from Pact and Castle, we should be able to find another Harmless Offering before too late, and there it is. Now I could Harmless Offering right now, but then our opponent gets to reap the rewards from Demonic Pact, which I don't really want him to. 
and their opponent's not doing much in the meantime, so this seems good enough. Opponent looking at the graveyard could be a call of the Death Dweller. Which, yeah, if it brings back Lurus, or a claim for Scourge, and they give it haste. Well, good thing we had a Fatal Push in hand. So we get to draw two. And then Tudor can find another removal spell, just in case. I'll go with, I guess, Fatal Push is fine. If they call the Death Dweller on Lurus, it's going to have a bunch of counters on it anyway, so I wouldn't be able to kill it with Heartless Act. And then next turn we can Harmless Offering, so a discard spell doesn't mess up our game plan. Could also gain a bit of life first, maybe that's safer. Alright, and then I'm gonna go digging for a second Harmless Offering, I think. Um, although then I have to discard my removal. I guess if my opponent makes me discard now, it's no big deal. So we'll just give them the Pact. So they also can't top deck another... What's the name again? Feed the Swarm. So I have to discard too, we'll keep Fatal Push. And then I can still cancel if needed, but... Next turn our opponent should lose the game. And our opponent explodes, so yeah, nice grindy game here against the Grixis Death Shadow. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. I've got a lot of interaction here. One combo piece and a cathartic to dig for the missing pieces. Yeah, it's okay. Our land situation is a little awkward since we can't quite fatal push on one and player two drop, so probably means I should play some attacks. And then next turn we can push if needed, or we can maybe Cathartic Reunion, opponent on Mono Green, and a turn to Paradise Druid. So I could Thought Seize and a way to Fatal Push Druid if it becomes tapped, although we also have Sweltering Suns. If our opponent's playing some sort of Elf deck, we can easily clean up the board. So I think for now I should just focus on hitting my land drop. And we'll Cathartic discarding. I guess another Reunion, and Heartless Act. I could also decide to discard Thoughtseize since we have plenty of creature removal and we don't really care about what the opponent has in hand, unless it's maybe like a Collected Company, which they could already cast next turn and would have been a reason to Thoughtseize instead. But I'm gonna go ahead and discard my Thoughtseize and then just rely on our creature interaction, as opposed to using the discard spell. Because at the end of the day, opponent's not pressuring us too much right now, and if they need to play creatures to uh, kill us, they just run into a removal, so might as well use removal instead of discard and make them spend the mana. Although we picked up Thought Seize anyway. So, not really in a hurry to Sweltering Suns just yet. But I might want a Thought Seize in case they're gonna ramp into something big that doesn't line up well against my Sweltering Suns. Alright, opponent is an elf deck. Um, I think we just take Great Henge, since we can just deal with the creatures through sweepers. And then hope to find our Demonic Pact soon, since opponent's not pressuring us, we can easily deal with the first wave of creatures. But we're also not winning the game very quickly, so if we do give them time, that could give us some trouble. Alright, so a good window for Sweltering Suns now. Another Thought Seize, just in case they picked up some scary card like Collected Company. And they drew the Crater Hoof, that's not a problem. So probably just take the Imperius Perfect. And then I might want to keep some lands in hand to discard to future copies of Cathartic. Heartless Act to draw. Yeah, I'll just put Kahira in hand and 
I guess I could Fatal Push Druid since it's a 2-drop. And then... Yeah, I guess we'll play one Blood Crypt here. Five lands is probably where I want to stay for now. Alright, perfect. Demonic Pact should close out the game pretty quickly. Don't think my opponent's main decking Reclamation Sage. Although this does look like a collected company, so... Yeah, good company hits could potentially kill me if they manage to make enough mana for Crater Hoof. So hopefully no double Arch Druid here. Alright, Visionary, Lanor Elves. Although combined with Castle Garenbrick could still represent quite a bit of damage. And yeah, there's Crater Hoof. Which is gonna hit us for 8. Although I think we'll be okay here. So I can use this to deal four or to make them discard two. I guess we'll make them discard two. And then I can just double Heartless Acts and Fatal Push, just clean up everything. All right, and then we get to draw two, gain four, and eventually win the game. Archroot was a good draw, although we're just going to kill it here. And my opponent concedes, not waiting around for a harmless offering, but they know what's incoming. So yeah, pretty nice game here against Elves, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and we've got a pretty interesting hand. Not a whole lot of interaction. But we do have the combo. Now this sense typically not gonna pan out. But I am willing to try it for science and if we find any of our draw discard effects of course we can get rid of Harmel's Offering. So hopefully this will be a showcase of why keeping a hand like this is maybe not the best idea. Turn one forests into Pelt Collector. Alright, opponent on a stompy deck. Another Demonic Pact. Might not get to cast it before we're dead. Still need land 4. At least next turn I can put Kahira in hand. So Sweltering Sense would still be a good draw. Alright, let's see if turn 4 Demonic Pact is fast enough here. Gonna have to draw some interaction, I imagine. Alright, Sweltering Suns are busts, and that's a bust. So yeah, we can tap out for Pact, but we're just dead on the way back. I guess Thrill could still draw into Fatal Push or Heartless Acts and keep me alive. There's a Sweltering Suns, a draw step too late would have been pretty nice. Although we wouldn't have been out of the woods since our opponents got plenty of haste creatures in the deck. So yeah, kept it for science and you know. Sometimes the conclusion is not uh, or the desired result, perhaps, but doesn't make it any less valuable. And there's Embercleave to finish us off. All right, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. I've got Grim Tutor for offering, Demonic Pact in hand, and Sweltering Suns to keep us alive. Turn one mountain. So not sure yet if we want to thrill discarding anything since my hand's pretty good right now. Maybe if we don't need Sweltering Suns, we can discard it with thrill instead. And if we don't expect any real interaction, I can just Grim Tutor for Harmless Offering right away. Opponent on Goblins, Mux is on top. So finding Thought Seas could be important, as well as just casting Sweltering Suns. So I think no need to Thrill. And then, yeah, I think I just Grim Tutor for Harmless Offering already, just to be mana efficient. Could end up being Awkward if we draw a second offering, and I would have rather kept Grim Shooter to, let's say, find the Thought Seas. But we'll go with this line. Alright, Warchief. 
Now at least I'm not under immediate threat of a Muxus next turn. Unless I guess my opponent has Phyrexian Tower. But I think that's a risk I'm willing to take. And then we'll just tap out for Demonic Pact and next turn we can clean up with Sweltering Suns. Castle Embreath. And Instigator. If it had a Prospector, they could have used Instigator to essentially get one more mana and potentially cast Muxus, but luckily that's not the case. And then I guess we'll make the opponent discard two cards here, as opposed to drawing, since my hand's pretty good. Now we know they're going to draw Shadow Skull Smashing. So they might get to hard cast Muxus, but they discarded one at least. So yeah, we got a Sweltering Suns and then I guess keep up Heartless Act for now, as well as Thrill. And then maybe Heartless Act can save us from a hasty Muxus. Right, it's gonna be a tapped Shadow Skull. So now I just want to dig for Thoughtseize to take uh, Muxus away. And get rid of Awakening, I think. So I have to decide between draw 2 or deal 4, gain 4. Um, I think I'm going with a draw 2 just in hopes of finding a Thoughtseize. Picked up another Thrill that can discard Offering. All right, we'll start there. All right, no thought sees, unfortunately. I think I'm better off keeping up double Heartless Act so we can potentially still beat Muxus by killing the Haste Enablers. And then next turn we'll have two Offering. Right, opponent cycles Gem Palm, so no Muxus luckily. I can cycle Sweltering Suns, or I can keep it in hand, doesn't really matter. Get to deal 4, gain 4. And Harmless Offering should close out the game. Alright. So, not exactly Sophie's choice here. And there we go. Goblins, a pretty decent matchup as long as we can find a timely Sweltering Suns to clean up the board. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. Turn 1, potentially Thought Seize. Reunion to help us hit our land drops and we've got the combo in hand. And Sweltering Suns as interaction. Opponent on blue-red, so some sort of spells type deck. Um, I think I do Thought Seize, even though it's going to cost me a bit of life. And then we see Dreadlord Arcanists. Is their only play for next turn, really, so don't mind taking that. And Sweltering Suns can deal with Atlas and Storming Entity. Alright, and then now, just want to hit my land drops. So I can either Thrill or Cathartic. Want to keep Sweltering Suns. So I could Cathartic, discarding Awakening and Thrill, or I could keep Awakening since I can still play it as a tapped land. Although I'm probably going to want a Sweltering Suns next turn. So I think we just do this in the hopes of finding some untapped lands instead. Ideally red ones. Alright, that's good. So next turn we can Sweltering Suns. Assuming they shock my face and play Stormwing Entity here, or maybe play Adolis. If they play Adolis and hit me for two, I guess I can maybe afford to Thrill instead of casting Sweltering Suns. Right, it's going to be a crash through into Stormwing Entity instead. Could definitely try to wait. The only drawback is if opponent keeps up an instant, they could potentially 
pump up entity into a four toughness creature that survives sweltering suns and we will be taking a lot of damage in the meantime not inconceivable for the opponent to kill me and next turn if they've got some double strike tricks in their deck so especially now that we drew the lands i'm just gonna sweltering suns next turn play pact hope they don't have any counter spells and then we should be able to take over And there's Demonic Pact. Resolves instantly. And we've got a ton of interaction here to keep us alive. Just gotta dodge a counter spell on Harmless Offering, although typically these decks don't play a lot of counter spells since they're not very synergistic with cards like Entity that has Prowess and Arcanist that wants to be flashing back more proactive spells out of the graveyard. Can use Demonic Pack to deal 4 to Adelis. Although now I'm probably just gonna Sweltering Suns and draw 2. Could also make them discard 2. I guess we'll make them discard 2. My turn is already mapped out with Sweltering Suns. Don't really need an extra land. Although it is a welcome addition so we can keep up Heartless Act. And yeah, opponent already explodes. I've got a harmless offering to eventually win the game. They probably should have waited since you never know. One might play a demonic pact without harmless offering and then you can just lose the game to it. But uh, yeah, they were super far behind here. So yeah, overall, black reds, demonic pact, pretty fun deck and yeah, seems to be doing quite well against some of the more competitive choices in historic. We've got plenty of interaction against creature decks, which are typically the ones that can kill us the fastest. And then a little bit of discard against combo and control, although they could potentially kill us with a combo before we manage to win the game with Harmless Offering. So that's one of the drawbacks of this deck is that while it is a combo deck that only requires two cards, it does take a few turns to eventually win the game. So a spell-based combo deck that doesn't rely too much on creatures could easily kill us before we manage to win. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.